Hi and welcome. This is Jeep Eng, and welcome to my channel again. Today, I'm going to discuss and share with you how to find the right agent to sell your home. Right. So very quickly, we are going into the first thing that you have to do. Make sure you check this agent is a CEA registered agent. That means they are a licensed real estate salesperson or not. So very simple. You just have to head on to the CEA government website and look for public register. Key in the agent's name or contact number and do a search. And once the name appeared in the CEA website, that means this agent is a qualified and licensed real estate agent. So it's very important to find a licensed real estate agent Right, so that um, you will not be cheated or uh, nothing funny uh, they will do uh, so that your interest is being protected, right? So the second thing that you have to find out from the agent that you are going to uh, engage when you are doing your interview, right, is actually to ask them very uh, difficult questions, right? So the experience experienced agent will be able to answer all your very difficult questions on this show that this agent is well trained and they have the experience to help you handle your property and so on. You might also want to check this agent is a full-time agent or a part-time agent and uh, are they working as a team or they are a solo agent. So this will have certain impacts on how they perform when they carry out the marketing of your property and of course more important thing is actually the negotiation whether they have the ability to help you to fight for the best price um, so that you are able to gain and maximize from this property investment right so remember to ask them very difficult questions and the third point that you might want to take note is you know you want to find out whether this agent have any experience handling the type of property that you want to market, you want to sell, right? For example, this is a landed property. Whether this agent handled landed property before, no, right? And this is crucial. Why? Because landed property require a lot of technical knowledge and it's very much different from like, for example, HDB or even condominiums, right? So those are more common. But when it comes to landed property, there are a lot of technical details, technical knowledge that the agent uh, supposed to have so that you help you to get the right buyer answer all the right questions to the uh, when buyer actually raise up and help you to protect your interest as well and uh, in return of course help you to negotiate for the best price so it's good to, to always find out whether the agent that you are going to employ whether you know they have any such experience in handling um, with the type of property that you want to sell right so that is Point number three, and when we go to point number four, how will they sell your home? I think this is very critical, right? What is their marketing plan, right? So you have to find out how are they going to carry out the marketing for you so that your property are able to stand out from the rest of a property in the market, right? What kind of approach that they have, whether offline or online, right, or both, and so on, right? So today, I think digital platform is so important, whether this agent, have they actually um, included all the online marketing activities for you or they just based on the offline, right? Meaning they only advertise in paper and nothing else, right? So that will help you to actually garner the biggest pool of buyer uh, for your property so that you will not miss out any potential buyer and in return, of course, um, you know, are able to get the best price uh, for your property. As you know, property actually need maximum maximum exposure, right? Maximum exposure. And of course, uh, with the right marketing strategy, we also take a shorter time to, to dispose of the property for you. So this is a very important um, approach. You, as a seller, I think, really need to understand how this agent is going to market the property for you. Right, so uh, the next point is, for example, you might want to find out how many clients are they currently serving. So some of the very active agent, top producing agent, they might tell you, you know, wow, my sales, I'm always a top producer in that particular company. Yeah, but top producer meaning they handle a lot of customers. Yeah, whether they have the time for you, uh, they have the best quality time put in, 
the focus to sell your property or not. I think that also depends on how many customers that they are handling at this point of time. For example, they maybe have more than 10 buyers or sellers that they are handling. So do they still have enough time for your property or not? So that is something that uh, as a seller, of course, we don't want to end up employing an agent whereby they don't have the time for your property. Right, so always ask. I think don't be afraid of ask, asking the agents um, because this is your interest, this is your property, right? And the next point that I want to bring out to help you all pick the right property is how much do they think your property is worth? Yeah, I think pricing the property is always an art. It requires a lot of experience, right? The tools, the right tools to analyze and uh, to find out, you know, the surrounding property prices and so on. And how are we actually different compared to other property and so on? Yeah, so how they derive to this number um, that they propose to you is also very, very important. We don't want to undersell. We also don't want to overprice because overpriced property, I think it's not easy to sell uh, unless it's so unique that uh, the buyer have to buy this property. If not, then they have other choices. So that will not allow them you know, to come in to pay for the price that you want. And you might miss out opportunities. And if the market, for example, is cooling down, then this time loss doesn't help you at all if we overprice the property, right? Neither we want to undersell the property, right? So I think you deserve um, the property to sell at the best price um, based on the marketing effort from the agents, right? The reach out the network of this particular agent that you are employing um, make a difference. And that's the reason why you pay the agent um, the commission, right? So finding the right agent is so important. Uh, definitely, right agent will have the ability to help you to no negotiate, to expose your property with their best marketing strategy and so on. So this is a point. Uh, I think it's very critical because pricing a property is always an art. We don't overprice, but we also do it. neither do we want to undersell the property, right? We always want to sell it at a point whereby is so attractive yet it's not overpriced right so that is actually an art that we are referring to so this is my point number five that you might want to take note if you are selecting an agent right point number six is how would they keep you updated regarding the sales and how often did they actually do the update with you yeah as a seller um, you give an exclusive to the agents Definitely, you want to have the two-way communication, right? You want to understand what happened to your property and you know what are the feedbacks from the buyers? Is there any offer coming in? Uh, what are the agents doing? You know, what are the effort that they, they have put in so far and have they done all the groundworks? Like, you know, record the videos, like do the virtual tour, like do the posting on the different platforms, prepare the advertisement scripts and so on, right? So there are actually a lot of things that, uh, agent will have to carry out a good agent will have to carry out before the property uh putting into the market right so the groundwork are so important so after putting up all this what is the plan in the next four weeks in the next eight weeks next 12 weeks what are they going to do for you and are they going to feedback to you know and how are they going to feedback to you is there a report that they are returned so that at least you are in the picture you are in the loop of the marketing progress and so on. So these are all very crucial for you. So you will, you, I mean, by doing this, that right, getting the right agent, I'm sure you will, you will have the happy journey for your uh, property um, marketing process and so on. And with in return, I mean, you will be become the happy seller, right? To obtain what you want to, to achieve. And uh, definitely, um, it's, it's important to go through this interviewing process and make sure you are, you are aware of all these points, right? And the last point that I want to emphasize uh, is in case if the agents you have employed give you all the promises, but they have not delivered their promise, Miss, the, the service is not up to the standard or it's not up to your expectation or it's not up to the terms that you guys has come to an agreement, please do not uh, hesitate to stop the service, right? Because um, you have the right as a seller, 
right, to stop the agent service if you think that is the service is not up to the standard or it's actually beyond um, the expectations, right? So this is your right to do so. And um, the sooner you do that, then at least you don't have to miss out opportunity and uh, there will be opportunity cost. Remember, in case if the market turned down, then that is actually our risk as a seller, right? So we want to make sure the marketing process is carried out correctly and we will get the house sold within the shortest possible time, but with the highest possible price. So that is something uh, to the seller advantage and it's always to the seller interest by going through all these basic questions with the agent that you are going to engage and make sure you get the right answer to your satisfaction before you uh, make your decision, right? So I hope this very simple seven points uh, serve you as a checklist in case if you are going into uh, agent interviewing and so on. And I hope you find this video uh, helpful to you, right? So in case if you love more of this type of video uh, coming up, you can always subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, hit the notification bell. Remember to hit the bell so that whenever I put up a new video, then you will be notified, right? So you will not miss out any of my video that I posted up onto my YouTube channel. And my name is Jip Ng. And uh, look forward to see you one day. Talk soon. Cheers.